breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people, is happening. Yes, so uh, Sully Lamido has spoken. In fact, the North is divided over the Northern elders, our Northern governors, standing together as one and going to, you know, uh, U.S. to say, oh, uh, please come and help us uh, with insecurity. In fact, it says it has exposed the ignorance of the Northern governors, that they have no uh, opportunity for anything called true um you know position for change or help and they have nothing to present mm -hmm. to ensure that you know the help that they need for the region in terms of security comes they have nothing whatsoever to add it says <laughs> the northern people should know that they are in the hands of god if they think government okay starting from the governor who is close to them governors who are close to them are working to ensure the safety protection of lives and property of the people he said they should think again say none of them have any iota of mind of you know truth you know or they have a solution to provide in terms of ensuring that the region is free from all forms of oppression in fact in fact he said says looking at the northern governor truly exposes their ignorance they went to the u.s for what what exactly Oh, the U.S. should come and fight your fight for you. Wow, how sad. Okay, you have nothing whatsoever to, to offer or to put in place to ensure that, you know, safety comes, you know, for the people. They went all the way to the U.S. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as we get all the details. U.S. trip exposed ignorance of northern governor Celio Lomido explained the former governor of Jigawa state Celio Lomido has tackled northern governors over their recent trip to the United States Daily Trust has reported how the governors have come together and said they are going to the U.S. to get help Daily Trust has reported how the U.S. governors recently traveled to the U. The go the Northern governors recently traveled to the U.S. to attend a peace summit organized by the United States Institute of Peace (USP). Reacting to the development, Celia Domido in a Facebook post said the trip exposed the ignorance of the country's constitution and how the government have no iota of any position of truth in order to support and to ensure that there is change in any way. They have no solution for the people. Everyone should know that they are in the hands of their God and should continue to pray. There is no help coming from anywhere. The former governor said security is solely the responsibility of the federal government because it is on the executive legislative list. The statement titled advancing our shame and embarrassment beyond our frontiers our northern governors as consigned leaders traveled all the way to the united states spending public resource and funds to america to attend a lecture at the american institute of peace titled advancing stability in northern nigeria as to find a lasting solution to the problem of insecurity prevailing the respective states. This concerns is, is condemnable, as you can see. It ended up exposing their ignorance at understanding the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the way, the way it is instituted, which gave them the legacy and the authority to be governors. They don't even know what it stands for or what is for them, what is obtainable. This is sad. If the governors had traveled to the U.S. to engage on how to boost agriculture or health insurance and any other pressing local problem listed on the consigned list of our constitution, this could be quite understandable. But to engage on such as executive what that is particular to the executive legislation list on security going to the U.S. is a shame. It tells you that they have nothing whatsoever to offer and they have nothing whatsoever to present to the people. What a show of real shame. It is unbelievable that these people can leave their home, leave the people they have sworn to govern to do extracurriculum activities. 
So this is what is happening right about now, my people. And you can see that, you know, some, you know, some are not happy. They said the, the, the way they have gone about things shows that they have no real concern whatsoever for anything called, you know, stability in their region. Okay. They have no real concern whatsoever. There is no, there is no opportunity. There is really no, no plans for stability to be returned to the region. If they do, they will sit down first of all and, you know, reason within themselves and ask themselves, what can we do? What can I do in order for stability to return? The meetings they've been having, what have they done in order to ensure that at the end of the day, truth, you know, peace is restored in ensuring that every one of them, you know, uh, restore peace to their region. So this is part of what is happening and everyone is beginning to really ask that question, you know, if, if, you know, these people are truly ready, these people are really ready. So my people, it is what it is. If there is no, if there is no iota of truth tied to those we call leaders in ensuring, you know, you know, uh, transparency on any, on all, all the frontiers, then you will be surprised at all that is going on. Well, my lovely people, um, I, I is, I'm glad that is the Northern a northern leader that is coming out to speak, you know, in terms of recognizing how, you know, these people have left, you know, how people have left the, the, the position of truth to allow themselves to be, you know, they just feel that going to U.S. and saying, oh, we've gone to U.S. for a, you know, to, to, to a, for a peace talk has brought, it has, that has not brought about any form of stability. It has not brought about any form of stability. It just goes to really expose their ignorance you know, and how they have not really paid attention to what could potentially move this, the, you know, the, the states. Talking about the northern states, I mean, the insecurity is not just in the northern states. You know, it just shows that these people, truly, sincerely speaking, are really not ready or understand all that is going on. Well, my lovely people, it is what it is. And we just need to begin to arise and ensure that we make all the necessary moves in order to ensure that truth is revealed and everyone could truly understand, you know, where we're going in the next couple of uh, years as a nation. It shows that, you know, nobody, nobody, is, nobody is really thinking about the safety of the people. You know, nobody's really thinking about the safety of the people. And it's a shame. You see, it's a big shame. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.